Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. What does it mean in Colossians 3 when it says, Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of Jesus. Does this mean that you're supposed to wake up and say, in Jesus' name, get out of the bed, in Jesus' name. You go to the shower, in Jesus' name. Well, I mean, there's some truth to that. Obviously, all believers have the name of Jesus applied to their life in water baptism. And so we're supposed to live in Jesus' name. And he forgave our sins when we cried out to him in Jesus name in repentance and filled us with his Holy Spirit when we ask in faith in Jesus name so the believers life begins in the name of Jesus and then we're supposed to live in the name of Jesus basically it means do everything honoring Jesus Christ don't do anything that dishonors Jesus because Jesus lives on the inside of you you've got a holy angel that's around about you and so you sit down to watch an R-rated movie or, God forbid, pornography or something. Well, you can't really do that in Jesus' name. You can't cheat your boss in Jesus' name. You can't cuss in Jesus' name. You can't drink in Jesus' name. You can't, you know, smoke, cuss, I think I've already mentioned, in Jesus' name. So whatever you do in word or deed, you, it needs to be something that's honoring Jesus. You can visit the fatherless and the widows in Jesus' name. Keep yourself unspotted from the world in Jesus name worship in Jesus name of course your your heart needs to be united with your hands and your actions or else you're a hypocrite but you know you pray in Jesus name and so when you really catch hold of this principle it's a tremendous line of demarcation and you know when Satan the beggarly elements of this world are begging you Galatians 4 what I think it's 4 maybe 5 Galatians 5 um, begging you to do this maybe it is Galatians 5 8 or 9 but I forget but anyhow maybe it's Galatians 4 but begging you the beggarly elements of this world it's like well can I sit all night for the new Star Wars movie outside in Jesus name or can I camp out for three days for the new Apple iPad or iPhone in Jesus name can I lie in Jesus' name? Can I commit adultery in Jesus' name? Can I, you know, have illicit sexual things going on in Jesus' name? Can I look at that in Jesus' name? Well, no. And so it becomes this massive thing of honoring Jesus Christ, and it keeps the church holy. Now, I know there's an initial infusion of holiness where we're declared holy at the new birth, but then there's a continual walking in sanctification and holiness as well but keep ourselves unspotted from the world you know can i be in rebellion in jesus name can i do this that or the other in jesus name can i cheat on my taxes in jesus name or something and and so the answer is you know everything you do in word or deed do all in the name of jesus let it be glorifying to Jesus that the name of Jesus that we represent to the world is not evil spoken of but when people think of the people of the name of Jesus they think of them as godly Christian and people that are a net positive in the world salt and light in the world that's what it means to do all in the name of Jesus God bless you we love you we'll talk with you later thanks for watching hit the bell notification when you subscribe join us daily do check out our other videos too God bless bye bye